Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be getting ready, chatting a little bit with you, catching up, and I'm also gonna use the best makeup of 2022 so far. I already uploaded a video where I just chat about these products, really explain every product more into depth. But today, I'm just gonna be chatting about some other things. I don't even know exactly what I'm gonna tell you, but I just wanted to get ready, do my makeup with you, and just have a fun time, just chatting with you, catching up with you. So I will link the other video that is really about all these products in the description and I'll put it in the eye there or there and yeah let's get into it so this thing that I do because of really oily eyelids before I put on my eye primer I always clean my eyes a little bit I usually do it before the video now I'm just gonna do it on camera because I forgot so I'm gonna take a cotton pad and I take a little bit of micellar water and I just take the tiniest bit, but I just need to make my eyelids really grease free. I always do this, otherwise my eyeshadow won't last. And then I let it dry a little bit. And after that, I'm gonna apply my eye primer. So the eye primer of the day is gonna be my trusty old eyeshadow primer by Atos. I haven't been able to find anything else like this yet. I was on the hunt for something to replace this, but I kind of, oops, and I'm throwing it on the floor. But I kind of gave up because everything I tried was really bad and made my eyeshadow crease so fast. So I'm shaking it up because it's kind of hot in the Netherlands right now. And because of that, this has separated a little bit. I forgot to put it somewhere a bit more cool it gets really hot in this apartment yesterday it was like 34 degrees celsius outside i wasn't here luckily i have a feeling that i just had to shake it really well i just have to be a bit mindful of what my makeup products go through sometimes in this apartment we did get an air conditioning actually like a little portable air conditioner and it has made all the difference like the first week here that it was more summery it was pretty hot i basically didn't sleep because we live in the middle of the city and there's like this direct connection of the street to where all the uh, going out folks walk and scream and exist and do their crazy drunk things and yeah they <laughs> keep us up at night so if we open a window it is too loud like basically until four there will be drunk people and then at seven there will be people just working like bringing things to the shops how do you call it like delivery trucks and things like that so it's way too loud to really comfortably sleep but at the same time it's really really hot so now we just use the air conditioning for like a few hours before we go to sleep so we have this flow of fresh air throughout the apartment and then it's pretty cooled down and then we just leave the windows like a little creak like there's still a bit of airflow but it's so much better and i've been sleeping amazingly for the summer like i used to be really scared to deal with the summer here to live here in the summer but now i'm totally i'm totally fine with it it is so good so the eyeshadow palette that i'm gonna use is the hella palette by Olin's Eye and Angelica Nickfist. I have not filmed the video yet where I'm gonna explain everything to you. I don't wanna repeat too much, but I do have to say I don't have a lot of favorite palettes for this year. I have not been into eyeshadow palettes that much. Of course, I love eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is amazing, but I have been working full time and it is much easier to get away with a little bit of a glowy blush with some bronzer blush a soft highlight when you go to work but these tones i wouldn't wear them to my office job so i have been steering away from the eyeshadow a little bit not on, not on purpose but i just know that uh there are some eyeshadow that i'm not really gonna wear and I have not bought that many eyeshadow palettes. I have 
seen eyeshadow palettes that I thought were beautiful, but then when I was just about to buy them, I was like, wait, when am I gonna wear it? And I just opted out. I mean, the newest Odin's eye palette, I did not buy it. I know, it is shocking. I was shocked when the thought popped into my head. What if I don't buy this? I was like, wait a minute, what is going on here? But in the end, I have felt better not buying as many eyeshadow palettes because it just would have overwhelmed me. I'm already overwhelmed with like the seven eyeshadow palettes that I bought this year so far and I just, I don't have time to review them. I don't, that's not entirely true. I do, kind of, I do have time to review them, but I have just been feeling a bit weird about eyeshadow and makeup in general. Okay, I feel like now we're going, <laughs> getting into the, the deep stuff. I am just a little bit confused when it comes to my relationship with makeup and when it comes to my YouTube channel and how I want all of it to be part of my life and um, I feel like I'm a bit all over the place already if you have any questions please feel free to ask me I usually answer my comments I basically answer all my comments except if I don't get the point Sometimes people just comment a, just a random word. I don't know what to say to that. Or if you're commenting in a language that I do not speak. I speak English and Dutch. So if you comment in, I don't know, Korean or something like that. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're saying. And I am I'm a lot more busy now than I used to be. So I don't really feel like putting all your comments in the translator. I'm sorry. <laughs> Should I be doing that? I feel like no. By the way, I have a little patch of uh, eczema on this eye. Should I zoom you in just a little bit? Just a smidge. I have a little bit of eczema on my eye but it seems to blend pretty good on top of that. I'm not really, I will tell you the shades in a second. I usually answer all my comments, so feel free to let me know what you think. But so I have to give you a little bit of context. I've talked about this before, but before the whole pandemic and being stuck at home for a long time, I, I actually wore a lot of neutral makeup and I only wore makeup when I really went out somewhere. I just treated makeup a lot differently. Then the pandemic hit, I didn't go anywhere, but I still wanted to enjoy my makeup. I saw it as like a fun hobby, of course, and I played with a lot of different makeup. My makeup was more like artsy, more colorful, more out there, but I wasn't going anywhere. Of course, I went on daily walks. Well, it's not of course, but for me, I that's just what I did. I went on daily walks during the pandemic and I still do. Sometimes I go twice a day, but I went on walks and then I would be out in the makeup, but I wouldn't really see anyone. I wouldn't really go anywhere. Um, by the way, I used Wolf and I used Decay. So I was just like, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter um, what it actually looks like, what people think of it. I'm not really a person that adapts a lot to what people think, but of course in some situations, some types of makeup are not as appropriate. I'm gonna go in the shade called Dragon Teeny in this palette, which is the Dragon Fruit palette, of course, from Cleonat and Emily Violet Marie. So I had a totally different relationship with makeup because it didn't really matter what it looked like, if people liked it, it was just about the art and the fun of it. But then 
I started working, I started my full-time job and like there are basically no regulations here right now. Um, you don't really notice that COVID existed or exists. Of course, it still exists, which is great, of course, but it has really changed the way I view makeup and it has made me feel a little bit confused about makeup because for such a long time, I didn't wear makeup to feel pretty. That's what I'm trying to say, actually. I didn't wear makeup to feel pretty. It wasn't the point. I didn't care about it. So now I am going out again. I'm living my life again and I'm just like stuck. I feel stuck. I don't know what makeup means to me anymore because it used to be something that made me feel pretty and uh, then it was something that just makes me made me feel artistic and now I just I I don't really know. I also I don't want to feel like I have to wear makeup to feel pretty. That's also a thing that I feel like that's how it's supposed to be but of course you decide for yourself what makeup means to you and how you want to wear it and there's nothing wrong with any of it but for such a long time I just felt like makeup was just for feeling colorful and inspired and doing really interesting things but now i'm kind of gravitating more towards wearing makeup to feel pretty but i feel a bit weird about it like of course i don't need makeup to feel confident and i sometimes i think i'm just overthinking it a little bit also i study philosophy and i think i look at this in a way too philosophical way sometimes like why do women even wear makeup why do we even need it i mean uh, most men don't wear makeup. There are, also, there are also a lot of women in the Netherlands that don't wear makeup at all, ever. So the question really is, what is makeup to me and how do I want to, how do I want it to be part of my life? I work from home four days a week, which I think is great. I love working from home. It really works out for me. I was really stressed when I had to be in the office five, day, five days a week. I knew it was all part of like the journey that I was going on because I'm doing a traineeship. It's like IT and data. I'm working as a database administrator right now, which probably doesn't tell you a lot, but it's a lot of like sitting behind the computer and I think it's great that I have the freedom to work from home because then when you're done, you just close your computer and you can do go do other things. You can go to the gym, you can do whatever you want, you can go for a walk, you don't have to travel time and you also have the freedom in during your lunch break to do what's what works for you. You could go like go grocery shopping, things like that. And if you come home at six and then you have to do everything in just a few hours and then be in bed really early think about what clothes you have to wear the next day what you need to take with you you have to think about so many things if you have to go to the office and i just feel very free not having to do that but it's also like i am home four days a week at least during the day so at what point do I apply my makeup? What kind of makeup? What do I feel like doing? What do I feel like wearing? It feels a bit odd to do my makeup right away in the morning. It feels a bit odd to do very colorful makeup. I kind of feel like I'm more in the mood for that, to do that after I'm done working. But then it's already pretty late and it's also feels a little bit weird then. Like it feels like it's a bit too late after. I'm also a little bit tired, not like super tired. And usually I could do something after working straight away. Sometimes I often nowadays I go to the gym. That's also something that I am spending a lot of time on and really focusing on right now. I'm on a little bit of a fitness journey. I'm trying to get back in shape a little bit because I really lost all my muscles. Like they were gone. I didn't work out for like six months, I think. And yeah, I'm slowly getting back into, well, 
not slowly. I am working out a lot. I'm getting back into it, getting back into shape. But that's also something I've been focusing on. And it's also like, when do you do your makeup if you go to the gym? Like, if I go to the gym at 5, if I do makeup before that, it has to be really simple. Otherwise, it's gonna look weird. Like, you're not gonna go to the gym in blue eyeshadow. So then it's like, do I do my makeup after? But then it's really late. I wanna eat, then it's like 8. And I don't really like wearing my makeup for an hour, then taking it off and going to bed. It feels a little bit like a waste. So yeah, I am thinking about this maybe way too much. I am an overthinker. I like to think about things. By the way, I'm using this one, the Revolution one. I definitely like to think and I don't know right now. It's like my life is changing so much and makeup has always been quite a constant but if I, there were a lot of changes in my life other things to focus on things that really took up all of my attention makeup usually disappeared to the background a little bit and i feel like that is happening right now as well for example when i went on exchange all of a sudden i wasn't really interested in makeup i wasn't buying makeup i wasn't watching videos i was just being there in the moment, focusing on the people there and just the experience. And I feel like it's a bit like that right now as well. I've been focusing on my job a lot, kind of getting back into some things. But of course, makeup is quite a commitment or quite a thing in my life right now because I have a channel. It feels a bit more like a job right now than it used to. I love it, of course. I love doing this. But I do feel like I'm a bit out of it. Like, I'm not focusing on it so much. Of course, I'm also posting a bit less. I think you've noticed that. And sometimes I also feel like it's kind of not... Sometimes I kind of feel like it's not a habit anymore. Just doing my makeup, playing with makeup, buying makeup. It's like I kind of forgot to get into that flow. I'm gonna use the Kiko Ultimate Glow Highlighter in 03, the Baked Gelee one. Just gonna take a little bit of a fluffy highlighter brush. This one is so, so pretty. So I don't really know what kind of makeup I want to do right now and how and how it plays a role in my life. And I've just been struggling with that. And because of that, I've also not been focusing that much on trying new makeup, buying new makeup, reviewing makeup. And I just feel a little bit behind. And it's also why I'm not posting as much because I just feel like... If you wear a lot of makeup, if you're really like in that flow of wearing makeup, then you get inspired pretty easily and you just use makeup and you're like, oh, wait a minute, I've used that one a bunch. Oh, wait, I really like that one. And then you come up with a video idea, like the best, I don't know, the best in the eyeshadow palettes of 2022. I don't know, I'm just saying something. But if you haven't used those palettes, if you haven't actually used them, you don't come up with an idea like that. This video is really like a sneak peek into my brain. This is what happens in my brain when I think about makeup and I think about my life and I think about my YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, <laughs> don't judge me too harshly. Okay, I'm gonna use and this one, the Cheek Pop Pearl in Coral Pop Beautiful Glowy Blush. And yeah, some at some points, in the past few months, I felt like I figured it out. But then I noticed that I still don't wear a lot of makeup. I do wear like simple makeup a few times a week. Like really simple, just a cream bronzer with a blush, a little bit of highlighter, just a bit of mascara. I usually do my brows and the lip is usually very, very easy to wear. Just... A little bit of a lip oil or something like that. So that is what I do. But that doesn't really... It doesn't really help with reviewing a lot. It's also not like Instagram worthy or anything. It's just really, really simple. And I don't want to just show you a bunch of really simple looks. I want to inspire you. That is also what I love about watching YouTubers. I just love being inspired feeling inspired and i also just want to give you 
some of the colorful makeup and special indie brands but yeah i just, i don't want to keep buying things and then not actually use it so i'm kind of on like an accidental maybe not accidental but kind of unofficial low buy slash no buy sometimes i see something that really catches my eye and i'm like okay okay i'll go for it usually that is not an eyeshadow palette i also uh, was eyeing the cosmic brushes i believe it's the serenity eyeshadow palette but i'm not entirely sure oops I was also eyeing that palette, but then when they launched it, I was not paying attention. And then when they brought it back into stock, I was still not paying attention. So I didn't get it. I forgot about it. So that went great. I feel like I'm really messing up these brows because I usually... I'm really, really up close to the mirror and now I feel like I have to be... <laughs> in view a little bit now i get why people do their eyebrows off camera you really you really need to focus i feel like it looks really bad so i'm kind of curious what role does makeup actually play in your life why do you use it do you use it to feel pretty or do you use it to be creative do you do you ever use it to feel pretty or only like how do you look at this kind of, not dilemma, but kind of dilemma, like this choice? Not that you have to make a choice, but kind of. Everybody has their way of looking at makeup. And I feel like I watch a lot of YouTubers that do their makeup for the fun of it. And because it's a creative outlet and they do really colorful makeup, which I love watching. And as you can see, well, this is not the most colorful look I've done, but it's a, it's a pretty colorful look, I think. But I watch these YouTubers and they say like, I just use it as an artistic outlet. I'm like, yeah, yeah, totally agree with you. But, but I don't know, I don't know. It is not always the reality with me. I also like doing really minimal makeup. Something about that also makes me really happy. Also just very neutral makeup, soft makeup. I think before I was about 20, 21 years old, I'd never worn blue eyeshadow. And I just felt so inspired with my makeup all the time. I was so obsessed with just wearing different shades of neutral. It was just my thing. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the Ruby Pop from the Pearl Pop line as well. Just a smidge. I love mixing those two together. It is so pretty. All right, it is time for a lip. Um, there are so many options, but I am thinking thinking i kind of want to use this sweet affairs one this is 01 and it looks like this a little bit of a brownie one but i do want to use a lip liner i do want to use a lip liner with it let me see what do i want i'm gonna use ashton from colourpop it's been a while since i've used this one by the way this is not in my favorites video i don't have a lip liner I don't have a lip liner in my favorites video, so we're just gonna go for this, which is not sharpened. Do I have another option? I don't feel like going to find a sharpener. I'm just gonna go for the Nabla close-up. Shit. <laughs> uh, this one is also not sharpened. Okay, I'm gonna grab a sharpener. <laughs> Let me see. Both of these sharpeners have something stuck in them. So I'm gonna see if I am able to do this. Okay, this looks a lot better. Okay, so that is the lip liner done. And this lip stylo, it's not really like shiny, it's a bit of a like velvety one. Okay, that became really cool toned, but yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with that. And to spice it up a little bit, maybe I'm gonna regret this, but I think it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna use the Makeup by Mario Gloss. I have been using this as a topper on top of like 
lip looks like 80% of the time I did my lipstick. This is my new obsession. This is so good. My lip doesn't move. It feels nice. It's a little slight, slight, slightly smidgen, like really, really slight stickiness. It has a really, really slight stickiness, but that makes it stay put. So I don't mind it. I, I just really love this gloss. I feel like this makes it look a little bit like lighter, softer. It's a little bit of an autumn, autumny look, but I'm really into it. I really like this. Okay, and let's wrap it up a little bit. I feel like I've been talking for a really long time, but wait a second. I'm also gonna use this perfume. I'm just gonna spray on a little bit. I always spray a little bit of perfume when I film because sometimes I forget because I'm home a lot. That smells so good. But when I spray it, it always makes me feel like I need to sneeze a little bit. And you know what? Let's use a little bit of the Fixing Spray by Catrice from the Caviar Gouch, Gouch Collection. <coughs> Let's do the whole thing with the spray and everything. I only already did my hair. I never really do that on camera because my hair, it's not really the type of hair that you can that I, well maybe i could do something special with it but it just has its own mind all right let's wrap it up a little bit i just am struggling a little bit with the way of you makeup and that is definitely influencing my channel and how much i post a lot i just don't wear a lot of makeup right now i feel a little bit confused of course i still love makeup a lot but i'm just like less a part of this world right now uh, my world has gotten a lot bigger there are a lot of, there are a lot more things going on in my life and to be honest i used to be thinking breathing living makeup it was my life i didn't have much else to do i was just watching makeup videos making makeup videos or doing my makeup it was what i did but now i just have to balance things a little bit more and i feel like the balance has tipped over to the other side a bit too much but maybe you have some advice for me if you don't at least you know what is going on behind the scenes you know my thoughts you know what my life is looking like right now don't be scared i don't think that i am gonna quit this channel i don't think i'm gonna quit makeup I've been into makeup since I was, I think, 12 years old. I wasn't wearing it to school really just yet, but I was already like really into the idea of makeup. And sometimes for parties, I already did some eyeshadow and I was already like, oh, this is so cool. And I think I'm pretty good at it. So I've been into makeup for 14 years. I don't think that is gonna change. I don't think that I am really moving away from makeup, but I am redefining my relationship with it. And that is just what you're seeing on my channel right now. And I think that's gonna be everything for this video. I feel like I could keep explaining and explaining and explaining, but at some point you just need to stop. I think you get it. If you don't get it, let me know. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to watch my other favorites video where I chat about all the products that I have here in front of me because I just showed you a few. And then I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.